What used to take hours now only takes seconds. Hi everyone, my name is Nick with Redcastle Resources, and today we're going to be taking a look at how easy it is to map fire extent and severity using Ask Terra. Let's jump right in. So here we are in the Ask Terra interface, and I'm interested in mapping the extent of the Park Fire from 2024 in California. Take a look at how easy this is. I'm going to come over here and type my request. Map the extent of the 2024 Park Fire in California. Hit enter. Now Ask Terra is interpreting the request and running the analysis. So there we are. In 5.6 seconds, we have mapped the extent of the park fire. Let's take a look at our outputs. Up top here, we have a change layer that's showing the change that was detected between the before and the after images that were used in the analysis. And we can take a look at those images um, within Ask Terra. So here is the before image. Here is the after image. And then here's the change that was detected between the two. You'll also notice on the left side um, of the interface here, we have a conversation window. And this is where we can see the request that we made and then Ask Terra provides um, some explanation in terms of the parameters that it chose for the analysis, as well as some contextual information about the park fire itself. You can see that the contextual information up here and then um, down here, it's explaining that it chose uh, August of 2023 to use as the before image. The after image is October of 2024. That seems right. And it's using um, NBR as the index in the analysis. So that's the normalized burn ratio. And it ran it with a change threshold of negative 0.2. And it's explaining that it chose this change threshold to identify significant changes. So I know that some of you GIS folk might be wondering, well, how much control do I have over the analysis? And the answer is quite a bit. So looking at our outputs here, I can see that uh, maybe the change detection wasn't as sensitive as I would like it to be to see the full extent of the fire. So I can see the, you know, some areas of the fire scar poking uh, through here. So let's go ahead and have Ask Terra rerun the analysis with a more sensitive threshold. I rerun the analysis with a threshold of negative 0 0.1. And there we are again. After about six seconds, we have our analysis with the more sensitive change threshold. And now as I'm looking at this, you can see that it is picking up that burn scar, full extent of the burn scar much better. So from here, I can pull this data into a GIS if I have any other existing workflows that I want to integrate this data into. Um, I can do that by downloading the GeoTIFFs straight out of Ask Terra. Or even easier, I can just take the tile service URL and add that in as a tile service layer in my GIS. If I just want to send like a quick report to a colleague, we do have the capability to generate a PDF report that just includes the area that you ran the analysis on as well as an explanation and some images. Um, but what's even cooler, if you have any other Ask Terra users that you want to send this to, you can uh, send them a link. And when they open it, they will see exactly what we're saying right here, where they'll be able to explore the map outputs, as well as see the conversation that we have with Ask Terra to get to this point. And they can even pick up the analysis where we left off, which is pretty awesome. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. We've got more videos that'll blow your mind from mapping changes in agricultural health to mapping damage from hurricanes. You can check out those videos in this playlist here. And if you want a more in-depth look at the tools and capabilities in Ask Terra, go ahead and watch this overview video here.